Next, I headed toward the gold country around Sonora to visit Columbia and Railtown 1897. My next stop was the beautifully restored gold rush town of Columbia. Located three miles north of Sonora, this state historic park is a big draw for California history buffs. Fire was the greatest enemy to California gold rush towns, and Columbia had its fair share of these. However, it was always rebuilt and now has the distinction of being one of the only continuously lived-in gold rush towns in the state. In the Columbia Museum, you'll find displays of artifacts from the Columbia of the 1850s, when the town had a population of 6,000 and was known as the Queen City of the Southern Mines. Within a 12-block area, visitors will find two historic hotels, live theater, bakeries and restaurants, and even an old-fashioned candy store. If you're not souvenir shopping in one of the many first-rate gift shops when you visit Columbia, you're probably trying your luck at panning for gold. I enjoyed a tour of the park on a 100-year-old stagecoach. The ride takes you on a bumpy old coach road. Joe folks got in the way valuable. Gold, silver. And it sure gives you an appreciation of what gold seekers must have endured as they traveled around California. I was glad to learn that I had arrived on Columbia Diggins Weekend, a living history event that usually occurs during the first weekend in June. Volunteers from the Columbia Historical Preservation Society gather together to recreate life in a gold rush tent town. The public is invited to partake in the celebration and is encouraged to join in on the demonstrations. California State Parks relies on volunteers to put on living history programs such as these. I met with Dave, who enjoys volunteering at Columbia. What makes Columbia unique? Well, during the gold rush in 1850, a party of miners actually was drying their blankets here and decided to pan for gold and found some very rich color, and that's how the town actually began. At Columbia State Park, you'll find the best preserved of the mining towns of the gold rush. A lot of the towns still exist. A number of them just dried up completely and blew away. But Columbia is the one that is most like it was in the 1850s. How long have you been associated with the type of reenactments, the historical day that you do, and what has it done for you? How has it changed you? I love the era, personally. I, uh, I've been fascinated with the gold rush for years, and I just think it's such a marvelous time of American expansion and optimism, and uh, everyone was coming here to get rich quick, and they discovered it was a lot of hard work. It works on a lot of different levels. I started getting involved with the association here when the association was formed uh, back 1979 or 80 and uh, I've been involved with it ever since and uh, how has it changed my life well everyone will look at you and laugh if they ask that question because <laughs> I met my wife here and I now have three children who are also <laughs> reenacting the gold rush so uh, it's changed my life considerably and it's, it's given me a, a wonderful new look on life Dave, what do you consider the miracle of Columbia's State Historic Park? I think it's the sense that you get when you're there that you're actually going back to this wonderful time when uh, the whole world changed during the, during the California Gold Rush. And I think that this is it's the feeling that you're actually stepping back in time. And that is, to me, the miracle of the park. Special events occur here year-round. Call ahead for a schedule. Thank you.